me. I'm so silly. We are standing under the power line. I'm hearing the buzzing from the power line. Oh my gosh. I'm so ridiculous. All right. Hi, right, welcome. This is Dog. We are starting a new series here. We'll see kind of where we go for, go with this. Uh, this is a brand new free-to-play account that I've created. Thought we would just start from the beginning here. Some of my friends are with me here in Twitch, in our ch in uh, the stream, in my channel, and um, actually one of my buddies might be joining us on Discord in a little while. He's also he's just getting into this game, so he's gonna maybe come play and talk to us in Discord a little bit. But really, just wanted to create an account and start playing at Mosquito Lake and try to share some of the strategies and things I've picked up on and thankfully I've got a lot of people here in chat with a lot more experience than I have that can correct me when I'm wrong or provide other pieces of uh, feedback that'll be helpful. If you are a new player to Russian Fishing 4, it can be a bit overwhelming at first, so hopefully this series will be helpful. This is going to be sort of long form in terms of these videos or it's more like a let's play thing maybe. So. If you're looking for quicker help, I've tried to create some shorter videos in my channel, and there's also many other streamers, um, I mean, sorry, YouTube creators, specifically, that have great content, and I'll certainly mention Lady of Games. Lady of Games, is that her, is that her name, y'all? Anyway, she's uh, connected to this, the development team for Russian Fishing 4, but she has some great videos out there on YouTube on... Um, tips to help new players get started. All right, so just a quick, um, we haven't done anything with this with this account yet. So um, I will mention that we you start at Cottage Pond and you have to do the tutorial because this isn't, uh, I've already done the, done the tutorial on other accounts. I did not need to do it on this one. And so we've started here at Mosquito Lake instead. The other nice thing about Cottage Pond though, before I would be, uh, remiss if I didn't mention you can get spare tackle and bait once a day by walking up to the cabin and hitting E so if you haven't already do that done that I do recommend doing that if you're just getting started because it'll give you a second rod and one of the joys of this game is you can fish with multiple things so we start off with 50 silver and uh, we're actually not gonna spend that right now um, and one of the folks that's actually doing this with me right now, his name's TJ and he's in chat. And TJ, one thing I'm thinking about is, um, I'm wondering if I'm not going to actually prioritize purchasing pretty early both a net and a shovel. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it before I get my first rod from the store, but maybe right after that. The shovel's 38 and the net's maybe... I don't know, 15 or 20 or so from the from the uh, tackle store. So those are some early things to consider. Sort of what you want to make that first purchase is, is an important thing to, to start planning for. Some of that depends on what kind of fishing you want to do. TJ's early advice, and I tried to start this video a little while ago, and his first thing, he says, don't waste silver. And that's really good advice, and we'll talk more about that as we go. So this is Mosquito Lake. Um, I'm going to go over here to the right. Uh, I really there's one spot over here that I really like and we're gonna start there and maybe we'll check out some other spots as well it's getting late so it's gonna be nighttime fishing before we know it but there is a spot over here that um, I feel like is a good starter spot uh, with a good combination of, of uh, different types of fish and especially as you get different types of bait you can even get tench over here uh, all kinds of stuff with just using worms and bread. We'll probably just be mostly cap cap uh, catching um, gibble and crucian carp and maybe a few roaches. Um, this is going to be the spot right here. Kind of look for these uh, wooden planks in the in the water. This is the only part of Mosquito Lake that has wood with that type of pattern sitting in the water. But I really like this spot. There's several places that you can throw. You can go right. You can go middle right around those lilies. You can also go left over here. Uh, just real quick before we start fishing, I'll mention this spot. 
Uh, other people have kind of talked about this spot here. If you can kind of imagine there's a triangle between these two lilies and those reeds out there in the water. Fishing right in the, in the middle of those, in the middle of that triangle is another good spot. So we'll switch it up. We'll see what we can get into. All right. We need to create our shortcuts. If you hold down U, you can assign your different rods. You can even assign your shovel to one of these once you have a shovel. So we're going to go ahead and assign those shortcuts so we can just use our numbers to pull up our different rods. And of course, backspace puts them back up. But now we need to set it up. So we're going to use fishing line. We have, you know, you don't have to worry about it when you're first starting. But eventually, you're going to be looking at things like load capacity, how heavy can the rod handle, test to make sure you've got the right amount of weight on your line. This is the beginner, Telestick. And uh, you'll start with this in your inventory. Don't have to purchase it, it's just there. We're gonna put this starter fishing line on there. You see the load capacity is only 2.3 kilograms. We'll easily snap this if we're not careful. We'll put a Bob's original floater uh, float on there, a bobber. We will put one of our uh, nicer hooks. The rusty hooks are the free ones. Put one of our nicer hooks on here. And I think on this one we will start off with, actually I don't know, start off with bread on this one I think. And let's pick this up. Plus and minus will change the depth. And I think we'll start off at 60. No, let's go 70. I feel good about 70 right now. And um, I kind of like, I'm, I'm partial here in the beginning. Let's start on the left side of this log. Let me see who all we've got with us. If you hit Q, you bring up your chat. You can look at the players that are in your area. So here's my, uh, my good friend TJ playing on this account. And uh, some other names. Got a level 16 fisherman out here. Level 20. Mosquito Lake is a fun place to fish. Even though it's where you start, it's a fun place. All right, so we're gonna hit zero and put that fishing pole down and let's equip our uh, old Soviet line on our piece of bamboo here. Feather float, can't stand the feather float. But that's what we've got, so that's what we'll use. We're gonna put our rusty hook on this one. This this one is much more likely to um, to get wrecked. So we're gonna, and we do have worms on here. Again, we're gonna to go to about 70 centimeters in terms of depth by hitting plus. And uh, we need to get a little closer here. So one thing I recommend, the bamboo rod, the free rod is, is a little difficult to, uh, to deal with. So if you ever get the chance to just hold it instead of putting it down and picking it back up, will save you some headaches so and now we're just gonna settle into fishing um, a little nighttime fishing sometimes the fish don't bite as actively in the evening but uh, hopefully we'll still catch a couple fish throughout through the night here and we're zoomed in by hitting Z we're gonna zoom back out so that we can see this a little more clearly so we're obviously we're getting some nibbles here on our bread Nothing yet on the on the worm though. Pulled it a little early there. Just don't want to throw it far. Not much line on this bamboo pole, so. Oh, it says touching bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and take this one down to 60 instead of 70. In fact, we'll do 55, I think. Because it's always gonna be much closer to the shore. All right, there we go. Oh, it's still touching bottom. Okay, maybe we'll go 50. It's interesting. I don't think I've ever had it sitting on the bottom as much as we do right now. All right, I think that's going to be better. And, uh, you know, one of the criticisms I hear of this game is the way you start out so hopefully hopefully we'll be able to get on some fish here and make uh give you some get some help for folks so that it's not as rough a start is it just me or does it look like that bobber is just already underwater i guess it wasn't it just looks weird it's getting a bite right now i can't really tell we're gonna pull yeah i think we pulled it right out so again these feather floats are terrible um our weight, so we need to change this to bread. I mean, if you notice the, 
the worm and the rusty hook weigh more than the feather float. That was our problem. It was weighing it down so that it, we're, we weren't getting an accurate view of what was happening with it. I am going to set this down though. It's weird that we haven't gotten a bite over here. You can look at the rod and pick it up with E, but since it's shortcut to our numbers, I can also just hit number one and it'll pick it right up. Oh, of course, now we're getting a bite as soon as I pick it up. Let's see if we can catch our first fish. Goodness. Those insects chirping, aren't they? Let's see if we can catch this fish on our bamboo rod. What's it doing? I don't even see it. Yeah, we pulled it out. This can be a frustrating uh, exercise fishing with this bamboo rod. We want to replace that as soon as we can. So we're going to hit G to look at details. We do still have bait on there. So all is good as far as that goes. So TJ, what are you doing on this account? Um, one of the early decisions I'm trying to make is do I want to purchase one bottom feeding setup, which of course I'd be able to use at level three, I believe it is, or do I want to get a spin fishing setup first? Because on my main account, I did so much more, um, so much more bottom fishing I had thought that I might emphasize spinning a little more on this account but it's just hard in the beginning not to want to have like at least one bottom bottom feeder in the water just to start catching the fish and I don't know maybe it's just because of what I know the best it's hard not to want to go that direction We should catch a fish here. All right, our first fish off the bamboo. It was a nice size gibble. You're gonna work on getting match rod. So that's in the float fishing line. Hmm, that's kind of a cool strategy. I've never been able to use a match rod. Again, I do so much um, bottom fishing on my other account. All right, we need to move this worm. It is silly that we haven't caught a fish on this 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 yet. So let's put this. I don't know. I don't want to. Well, let's put this like just right of the log, maybe. It's so dark. And we're gonna take this out. I want to be able to see both together. So we're going to take this out and kind of put it right here. So I think what I'll do is, um, well, I don't know. Let's keep thinking about it. So the difficulty is, thank you. Good call, TJ. Good, good tip for the new players out there. F is for flashlight. So if you hit F, it does help a ton. And if you're having a hard time seeing at night, you can go into your settings and turn your contrast all the way down. I don't like doing it because it, the game doesn't look as good. So I'm gonna try to keep from doing that too much, even though it does make it a very dark experience at night. We have caught two fish on the bamboo. A little crucian, give us a little luck. And zero on our uh, telescopic. What's up, Wrangler? Yeah, this is my uh, this is my free-to-play account that we're gonna we're gonna try to do some instructional work on this account and throw it up on YouTube. But it'll be pretty chill in terms of just like long form. All right. If if I do stick with any of my free uh, my baby accounts, it'll be this one.
that one that I was playing last night, I really just did so that I could um, kind of fish alongside our treks. All right, here we go. Just picked up the wrong pole. Oh, you know what? So this whole time I thought we were fishing with worms. We're fishing with bread on this one. Let's switch this one to worms. That'll give us some variety. I gotta remember that bamboo is bound to number two. Let's just hold the bamboo rod here and see if we can snag something with it. I don't know, maybe we need to change the depth. Again, it's nighttime. The fishing can be a lot more sporadic at night, I find. I don't know, the bottom feeding, the bottom fishing, the feeder rod, the feeder setup, just goes so much better with float fishing to be able to do the both at the same time. It is just like a natural fit together. But again, I do want to do more, do more spinning here. <clears throat> what would really work better is to do spinning and bottom fishing together. I don't think that spinning and float fishing works too well because you, you would have to sort of reel in and keep an eye on your floats. And <clears throat> you just have to be able to like get to your float rod so quickly it doesn't really work with spinning as well it doesn't seem like hey nice gibble nice gibble there TJ finally catch our first fish on our real fishing pole here nice little crucian all right so we're almost to level one and a half here. What usually happens is you end up catching like a one kilogram fish and it'll give you, you know, level and a half. Or if you don't, you just slowly get there one little fish at a time. I'm gonna move this one a little bit. We can come out here on this wood, which means even with the bamboo, we can get pretty close to that lily pad. Almost made it through the cold dark night here. So TJ just hit level four. We've got a little catching up to do. All right, so I think the plan is gonna be hit level three, get a, shoot, I don't know. I keep debating going back and forth. I really like the idea of trying to get a match rod, but that kind of removes, like, removes me entirely from going after spinning. little fish have a tendency to nibble for so long spin and float fish how do you think that would work TJ you think I'd be able to keep floats in and be able to um, spin well 
don't know. I just I like the idea of um, doing that, but it just seems so much more conducive to working on spinning to have the bell system in place so that I guess it does work synergy wise in terms of leveling up your spin and fishing ability, which also once you get to bolo rods or the match rods is going to help with that anyway. I don't know. So the what we're talking about and what I'm debating, right now the three types of fishing in this game are float fishing, spin fishing, and bottom fishing. And most people will tell you, and it's probably a sound strategy, is to kind of try them all, find the one you like the most, and then put start putting your skill points in just one, really specialize in one. Not that you're not doing the other types of fishing, but you're specializing in that one. Ooh, our first Chinese sleeper. I think that's even over the weight, yeah. So if you see a green check mark on a fish, it's going to say it's a record fish and it's valued highly. Basically what you know is that a fish like that means that you're actually going to get a little bit of money for it, a little bit of silver for it at the fish market. If it doesn't have that, it's not going to be worth, it's going to be worth pinning, pennies basically. catch this one first. Nice. Nice gibble. Alright, so the sun's coming up. Fish are starting to get on there a little more quickly. There we go. I think that is on. Yeah. Whoa. This is what it looks like to have a fish that's just about too big for your line. In fact, we may lose this line. Nope, we got him. All right, so that's a, uh, a money fish, Tinch. Especially when we get to Old Berg a few levels from now, that is what we will be, one of the fish that we'll be trying to target. Um, they do occasionally bite worms, which is why we were able to get that one, but um, that was scary. I mean, if he was just a few grams more, we would have never gotten him out of the out of the water with this rod and reel, or this rod and line. We don't have a reel, so that did give us a lot of XP. Though, as you see, our XP just uh, bumped up a good bit. I don't know if we're still going to be able to catch this or not. No. So not only we catch a tench, and even though the tench isn't a value tench, it may still be worth a little bit. That wasn't a good cast. I guess we'll keep uh, playing with fire and casting over here on the right side with our worm. Yeah, we got him. Oh, that's way too big. Yeah. Woo! Okay. We do not need to fish in this spot with the bamboo. That is now clear. That is now clear. Mm, pulled right off. All right, I think we want to move back into safer, safer territory. Um, I don't think we have Oh, we do still have line. We just don't have a float. We do have a, a hook. All right. Let's go make our first trip to the store. Let's go make our first trip to the store. Turn our flashlight off. I hate to miss out on these uh, early morning fishing hours, but... Um, It is really, um, it, it can be a frustrating experience fishing with that bamboo rod and that uh, cheap line that snaps so easily. So I'm going to say it's probably worth just kind of thinking through what we're doing here. Let's look at rod prices and 
We don't, we do, I mean, once we get a, 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 some sort of buy bread, good good call, TJ. So really good advice. We're gonna go to the grocery store here. Um, the main reason why we wanna buy bread, we can actually eat at this location for free, but let's get a couple loaves of bread here. Main reason why we wanna do that so we can start working on crafting and um, making our own bait, which in this case will be bread, obviously. All right, so let's look at rods. If we wanted to get a telescopic rod like the one we have, it's a lot of silver at this level. It's a lot of silver to spend. Now, it might be worth getting another thing of the really cheap line, though. Even if we put it on the bamboo. It says it holds up to four kilograms. So let's try that. Let's see if we have a little more success not getting snapped as often. If we have a 3.9 kilogram line. And we need a float. We'll purchase, these are pretty cheap. We'll purchase a couple of floats. We'll need them. And hooks. We're gonna have to go cheap at this point until we get some cash. And we really want small for now. I think we'll get a uh, 16 and a 14. All right, hopefully that'll keep us going for a while. Let's see if we can eat again. Yeah. All right, we'll go and eat one more time. Now let's get out there and keep fishing. So instead of spending the silver on a new rod, we're gonna try to make the bamboo last us a little while longer. If we can catch enough fish to fill an order or something, that'll be enough silver for us to, plus we'll hit three by then and then we're gonna be forced into making a decision which direction we're gonna go with our first uh, purchased setup. I'm going to go too far here. Alright, here we are. I do have a skill point. So what are we going to use our skill point on? Alright, let's kind of go back to... Alright, we're at 70 centimeters. Let's kind of go back to this way for now. Let's get our second rod set up. I like these new floats. These were just put in in a recent update. We'll go with one of our size 16 hooks. And uh, yeah, let's go bread. Yeah, let's go bread on this one. So we need to start thinking about what we're going to put our skill point in. Nice. There's a roach. We will definitely catch a few roaches before the before we leave mosquito. Actually, you'll catch roaches pretty much everywhere you go. Okay, so if we end up going into spinning, we want to put our probably put our first skill point into spinning. If we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna put. I know we're not gonna put skill points into bottom fishing because bottom fishing is not gonna be my main focus on this account. Since so my main account, that's what the main focus is. T 
to me it's really nice having two different colored floats in the water it just helps my brain not get as confused right, let's see if how close we are to catching something over here I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up oh yeah yeah we're still good did we ever there we go did I don't think we ever changed out the line if I'm not able to catch this fish it'll be my own fault for not changing the line so heavy for this rod or actually this line most of over a kilogram kibble all right let's um let's go to setup here and put the real line on there that would not have been as bad it still would have been really heavy but not as bad if we had had that line on there oh the hook came off hook came off all right so we know we're not putting the skill point in bottom fishing so really the question is do we want to put our first skill point in spinning or in float fishing So, uh, maybe somebody in chat can help me with this. Look how strong this little guy is. Woo! Wow. All right, there's level three. I, I think we go ahead and fish. I think we're going to fish through this day. We'll go to the store maybe once it's nighttime again. <coughs> maybe I can, um, maybe we'll even fill an order by then. We'll see. Can somebody tell me, with float fishing, uh, th this is working a lot better with having a little stronger line on the on the bamboo rod. With float fishing, it says in the skill tree that you, I love it when you get to this point where you're just able to like, it's like you're catching a lot of fish. The other rod's too close. It says in the in the skill tree that at 30% you can use a spinning reel. But the only spinning reel you can use for float fishing at 30% is the bolo rod. Is that correct? Because you can't use the match rod until 60%. Is there another spinning reel you can use other than a bolo rod? Picked up the wrong pole. I may be able to figure that out if I go to the store. I just, I, I have in my mind from uh, when I leveled my main account up, is that when I was float fishing, the only spinning reel I could use was the bolo rod, that's what I think. But I could be way off on that. That fish almost escaped. That's scary, got caught on the log. Chinese sleeper. that net and shovel the nice thing about the shovel is 
you can just slowly start getting your um, getting your worms for so that you can keep fishing and not have to purchase worms. What's up, boogie man? I am doing well. How are you doing? In terms of getting levels, tench are great. Unfortunately, they're they are undersized in terms of value, but they're uh, but they are such good experience and such good silver, especially when they're of of size. You went flawless in D two again. Wait, remind me what that means, Boogeyman. I'm sorry, I don't remember what that means. Destiny 2? Are you talking about in um, the trial? Yeah, trials, gotcha. I've been away from that game for so long I didn't remember what that meant. So that's the PvP, you gotta win seven or nine or something. That's awesome. Seven and a wow. I really wish the bamboo would uh, go under first. too long on it. There we go. We still got it. That gives us a little bit of luck. So let's talk about the four meters at the bottom left of the screen. Hello. Hey, what's up, buddy? So, does anything happen if your guy starves to death? Um, I don't know. I've never starved to death before. I mean, I've never gone to, like, all the way to nothing. You definitely, um, you lose energy, so you won't be able to, you won't have the energy to bring a big fish in. Um, I don't know other than that. Just... Because he was, like, almost dead when I logged in. Um, <laughs> being that way when I left it, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so... We were about to talk real quick about the four... Ooh, this is a heavy one. Nah, that's not too bad. Is that another sleeper? Yeah, I like those sleepers. Maybe we'll have a Chinese sleeper order at the cafe. Um, all right, so the four orders, sorry, four orders, the four meters on the bottom left of the screen, the first one is energy, and you'll, this will come into play a lot more when you're spin fishing or bottom fishing, because it takes a lot of energy to reel in a heavy fish, 
when you're fighting with the fish, you'll also be fighting with your energy. You'll actually have to purchase things, drinks and other things, food to eat to uh, increase your energy as you go. But for now, just know that that lightning bolt is energy. The second bar is hunger. Here at Mosquito Lake, there is a green, uh, green little outdoor oven thing where you can eat once, a, once every 24 in-game hours for free. Nice crucian. The third bar is luck, which according to the most recent uh, update in the game that I saw, they're going to be taking the luck statistic or luck factor out of the game. I don't think we were completely sure on what it did anyway. I think maybe it increased your chance of catching trophy fish, but I think that may just be a guess. I'm not even sure if that's accurate. So that third meter will be going away. I don't know if it'll be replaced or just gone. And the fourth meter is your comfort level. If you are fishing in the rain, away from the civilization, your comfort's gonna tend to go down and this will again um, increase some of your other statistic, your other uh, energy, like your energy especially, I think. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think your comfort level affects your energy, but um, there are specific drinks mostly or what you wanna to get to uh, increase your comfort level so that you can still be fishing strong in the rain. But those are those four bars. And as you get deeper, you'll certainly interact with them more than you will in the beginning. But uh, it's good to know what they are even from the start. So we're starting to really bring in the fish here. On both lines, it's been pretty healthy for a little while now. And I would say early, when you don't have the gear to catch fish that are going to be worth a lot in and of themselves. One of the key things is trying to fill orders at the cafe. So once we are, once we get to the end of this in-game day, we're probably going to go spend a little money at the store. And uh, before we do that, we'll check and see if any of our fish fulfill an order. of things I'm gonna guess we probably don't have an order completed yet so we've got such a like wide variety of different fish dude one thing I did uh, different tonight than uh, when I was playing with you last night is I actually bought the cheapest line and put it on my bamboo stick instead of that Russian line the free line and I have, uh, I've been able to pull in a few more fish without it snapping as easily, which has been nice. Mm. So the rod still isn't very good, but at least the line isn't. Um, that free, really cheap line that only can hold like two kilograms or something. That's funny, TJ. In my um, in my chat thing, it says you're level three, but you just hit level five, right? I was afraid that was gonna happen. Congrats on level five. As long as these fish are nibbling, I think in the most recent patch, they decreased the time that some of these smaller fish nibble. So this is actually less than what it was when I leveled my main account through here. Although it still feels like an awful lot of time sometimes. It's 
So I didn't always know that, that when the bobber kind of rises up a little bit and starts moving sideways, like you were saying, Artrex, that's a good time to that's a good time to pull it in. I thought that was still just kind of nibbles, but that's actually kind of moved to phase two of the of the bite, and that's a good time to pull it in. Yeah, I'm not sure. Did you advance time? No. In this? Nope. Nope. And time keeps going, of course, when you're not online. Because, you know. Yeah. It's... Seems like it goes pretty quick, though. Oh, it does. Yeah, I feel like it does. Because I'm, like, fishing in the afternoon. Yeah, same time for both of us. It should be. It's 1430, something like that. perch i don't think we've caught many perch have we that might have been our first no it's our second okay both of them undersized though okay so you know you can see the little fish next to you if it's really close right yeah it's so awesome that's why it i not get messing with my line and then he i went there you get him in like <laughs> it's one of the reasons why i really like fishing at curie lake it's like crystal clear water, especially in the shallow parts. I just throw like throw lines right there on the shore, and you just watch them come up and come up and get them. So, what do y'all think? How quickly should you prioritize getting a? Uh, Shovel and a net. Do you already have one, TJ, at level five? Either of them? I really keep going back and forth. Like, I was going to buy my first rod with the silver I'm making. I'm wondering, though, or with the starting silver. I'm wondering, though, if you actually should just get the shovel and the net first. Common roach. We're going to be level five here shortly. Is that right, TJ? Okay. TJ may so, wait till he goes to winding to get those. Wow. What were you going to say, Artrex? What, do you, what button do you hit to look at your skills? Oh. Well, we missed both of those fish, didn't we? So this is considered float fishing, what I'm doing right now? Yes. And you see under float fishing how it has um, the fourth one is using a spinning reel. If you put points in that once you're at 30%, um, then that will also you know affect that same skill in the other lines as well. Or like if you put it in spin fishing, if you go to that same skill, it'll affect... Anyway, you know what I mean. I gotta get 30%. Then you can keep putting progress one of seven. Yeah. Oh, casting distance accuracy. I, oh, I don't know. And then Using there's a, a rig with a fixed line. And then there's so another they're one. Saying, there's another one that gives you um, more control of the fish or something like that. Yeah, I was asking people in my chat, like, did you just see where it says using a spinning reel at 30%? Yeah. But it also, that's also, um, that's also where you, at 30% is, the next skill is also 30%, and that lets you use the bolo rods 
And I think the bolo rods are, dang it, are actually the first spinning rods that you can get. Which they are um, not my fave. At least the one that I got on my main account wasn't my fave. I am Mercer says, do you still play any MMOs? I'm not currently playing any MMOs, although this feels like an MMO. Um, but I, I also wouldn't say that I'm at all done playing MMOs. I'm just not playing one right now. When I go to the store, I'll try to figure that out. I, I think the only float, I don't think, like I think match rods are the, the really the rods you're looking for to f fish with a bobber and really have a solid like spinning, you know, a rod and spinning reel. But those it's are- called a match rod? Yeah, but those are much later. I think the only one you can do at this point, I mean at 30% is the bolo rod, but I could be wrong. I need to double check that. And if that's the case, and you're going to specialize in float rods, then you probably will end up getting a bolo rod. Just don't get the one I got. The one I got was a nightmare. What was wrong with it? it was seven and a half meters long. Impossible to cast. It oh, it was a really, really long one? Oh, my gosh. It was such a waste. What is that? So, like, silver. ocean fishing? <laughs> I don't even know, dude. It's like... So bolo rods, the main, I think the main purpose of those is to be able to float in the current. I mean, to be able to fish in the current. So, you know, you, it, the, basically you let the current take the bobber and the line and your bait down the current. And it's sort of just, it's in the current. Fish will, you know, get on there and you reel them in. But um, that seven and a half meter rod is just it's, oh, awful. It's hot pink. It looks cool, but... I should have gotten a shorter one. I got the very longest one. There's another tench. There you go. So the reason why I haven't put any skill points in yet is because if I'm going to do spin fishing from the start, if that's going to be my focus on this account is spinning, or my primary first focus, then I want to put all my early points into spinning because I'll need all the help I can get with that. And that's what I'm leaning towards still, but until I decide that for sure, I don't want to put points in. Whatever this is, it's pretty big. Might be another tench. It's a good little tench spot. I mean, they're all undersized, but you get so much experience for them. It's cool. Catching them on the worms. I bet if we were fishing with maggots, and I mean, we'd probably catch a lot of a lot of good fish in this area. A little bigger. Red worms. I know people use red worms here. The blood blood worms or whatever. Ah, missed it. <laughs> TJ says, dude, you and them tench need to slow down. Yeah. How many tench is that? None of them have been high enough value to get money for them, but four tench. Or get good money for them. Four tench. I don't... You what? My bobber, my bobber was under. Yeah. Ooh. Forever. And it was bending my pole. Yeah. I go to reel him in, and he, I even kind of yanked on it a little bit. Just, or not really yanked, but kind of just moved a little bit. It even 
pulled it my thing down and then I went to pull them in. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> that irritates snot out of. <laughs> oh crap. It's so funny, dude, when you like so my bobber was completely sideways. Oh, level five. My bobber was completely sideways and I could see the fish like on the side there. Hey, what's up, Amar? Welcome to stream. And thanks for that uh, UK welcome. That UK good morning. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, Amar. Amar, what level were you when you stopped playing Russian Fishing 4? Because you played for a little while, didn't you? You have shown such good self-control not jumping back into this. You've been watching me play it for weeks now it seems like and you have said you've, you've held strong you've said I'm gonna keep farming I'm gonna keep doing my space missions but I'm not fishing what you level play? Six. you know he he's pro I don't know he well right now I think he's doing GTA 5 with that uh, LCM I don't even know what the acronym I mean it's the it's the police mod that lets you play as a police officer oh yeah but um He's been playing some other stuff too. Oh shoot, I don't remember which pole that bobber's attached to. Wrong one. I guessed wrong. Got confused there. All right, so the, the one with yellow on top is my bamboo rod. I gotta remember that. Yellow is closer to the color of bamboo. I should be able to remember it. All right, we're at 36 fish, so I'd say about I don't know. Maybe about 10 p.m. in game time, we'll go, we'll go check the cafe for orders and see what we got. Oh shoot! As soon as I go to take a drink, ah, we have missed too many fish like that, dude. It's happening to me too. I'm pulling those fish right off the hooks. Amar says, how's our Trex doing tonight? He's doing great. <laughs> he's doing great. He gets a little frustrated at Russian Fishing 4, but he's doing great. Um, you have 18 fish. TJ, have you sold any? Or is that how many you've caught in the same amount of time I've been fishing? So that might go to that theory of the higher level you get, the harder it is to catch fish. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just like this little spot next to the log. I don't know that it's any better than other spots, but... Oof. Come on. Yeah. So that happens almost every time the the float goes under and by the time I pick up the pole and then lift it up it's like it's waited too long I probably should just pick up the pole and then take the time to look again and see if the bobber is still staying under okay like it is now we'll pull it up that worked better Oh, that's going to really mess me up. I just threw my right pole, to, right fishing thing to the left. And... All right, let me check this out, Amar. Is this, is this audio I need to listen to, or is it just a website? Because I'm doing this on my non-audio PC. Oh. What is this? All right, hold on. Let me pull this up on my main. Give me just a second, Amar. That looks cool.
dueling bobbers here. Ugh. That was gross. Pull my channel up. Got him. I am going to recopy and paste that now that I have it pulled up on my other. Go over here. It's a life sim. Okay, hold on. Let's see what you said. It's a life sim, basically a world occupied entirely by real players, and you have to get a job. Cop, hunter, and some others. So that kind of sounds like a more um, a more complicated version of what that uh, Arma Three mod is. I'm gonna look at it a little more in depth, Mar. Just give me a minute here. Is, t tell me this: is it uh, is it playable? Is it is it available now, or is it um, in development? Ooh, what tore your line, TJ? Big fish, do you have a big fish on? Did a carp come call, I mean a, uh, not a carp, did a pike come calling? It's being developed, okay. A tinch, huh? I've been lucky. The tench I've caught have all been baby tench. So they've given me good experience, but they haven't snapped my line. You can tell it's getting a little later in the afternoon, early evening, fishing slowing down, at least for me. I don't, this. <laughs> What'd you say? This game. Okay, I'm sitting here literally watching the fish take off with my bait. Yeah. It's I switch rods real quick because on the other rod, and when I grab it, nah, he 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 just yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, I guess if you wanted that to never happen, you could just fish with one rod. And no, it, I know, but and then you'd get good it's, it's timing. Just, it. That's just. But I just enjoy, to me, the excitement of having multiple things going on. It's become like, that's become the normal for me. So it would be hard for me to go back to only fishing with one rod all the time. Not me. <laughs> yeah. I think fishing with one rod might just be more fun. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's a good point Taren Toga makes, or you could just not use float fishing, because um, that's not going to happen on spinning or bottom fishing in the same way. Yeah, but I've tried spin fishing. I can't catch nothing. I don't even understand it in the game. I, I don't know. Well, you know. That's the frustrating part. Like, you could. why am I not at least even getting a nibble? I'm, like, about, I'm about to go purchase a, a spinning setup, and, you know, you could pull up somebody stream and I could try to show you a couple things. <laughs> You're trying to get a cheap, cheap yeah, view, aren't you? trying to get a cheap view. <laughs> oh, man. I can pull you up here. I am. It's, it's about to be evening, and so I'm going to use evening as an opportunity to go um, check cafe orders. And uh, Welcome to the stream, by the way, Taryn Toga. Hope you're doing well. And um, see what my budget is for purchasing a few things so maybe I'll go with TJ's um, TJ's plan and put off buying put off buying the uh, shovel and the 
and the net. Those are pretty big expenses this early, but I don't know. That net is nice, and it is super cool to start leveling up your bait gathering or bait crafting by getting your own worms out of the ground. So it's a tough choice for me. I probably won't wait till Winding Rivulet, but I might not do it first purchase. I guess that's another early use of energy is when you start digging for worms. That uses up your energy pretty quick. Gotcha. What did you mean, TJ? Depends, farming worms can be hands. What does that mean? It's almost the end of the night here, or end of the day here. Lamar, I'm gonna look Wow, it's, it don't look very dark out like it did yesterday. Yeah, it doesn't really get dark, I guess, till like 11 p.m. or a little handy. Well, 22 is pen in it <laughs> yeah 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 no it's it's gonna it's gonna happen quick maybe that's in russia they are a little <laughs> higher up aren't they maybe so yeah no i think farming worms can be handy too i agree tj and plus if you're doing it along and along it doesn't feel quite as grindy like if you wait till you're higher level and you're like oh i want to level up and we'll start digging for worms and it's like Oof. but you can also purchase things like cheese or I guess the Coca-Cola drinks that will replenish your energy to help you dig longer. Yeah, yeah, it's hitting night all of a sudden, isn't it? Still yeah. looks like there's still a lot of light in the sky, but I think it's gonna be going down pretty fast here. All right, I'm, I'm packing up. I'm gonna go see what we got. All right, let me run to town here, and then Amar, let me look at these. Uh, I want to check out this game you linked to me real quick. Just want to see what that's like, what that's about. Because that does sound cool. Modern.